nothing in gear is complete uh, without a performance of, from our dear Cubs. So stay put to watch the play put together by the reason for all our seasons in school, our dearest Gear Cubs. Kriti, over to you. Namaste. The Gear Cubs of grade nine will be presenting a piece to express our gratitude towards Serge and all the teachers. We recommend changing the layout of this call to spotlight mode by clicking on the dots on the bottom right corner. Thank you. The best teachers teach from the heart, not from the books. They provide us a foundation, an anchor, and we are far too young to see the world as it is. And it's our duty to build upon this foundation, to strike upon this realization. Teachers, they give us one of the most important things in life, the knowledge and the push to follow our dreams. Although teachers are not the ones who give us life, they are the ones who teach us how to live it. The founder of an institution plants in us a life, and with guidance and love, the tree grows. They aren't teachers, they're awakeners, and they nurture our conscience. But labels set aside, all teachers are the same, whether they benefit or not. The best interests lie in imparting knowledge. They made us who we are today. If we're optimistic people now, we weren't once upon a time. Our teachers taught us how to climb up ladders when the ground was a ship. Each teacher uses a bait to lure us in. For a metalhead, it could be music. For a visualist, paints and colors. But little does a person know that they're good at something unless they're told. There is a difference between a human and a good human. The latter is the one that changes the world little by little, the one who will always be remembered by us. It is the environment that one grows up in that shapes them into a good person. This story is about the coach of the best basketball team in all of Bangalore. And he happens to know the difference between a good person and a generality. All right, guys, bring it in. Great practice session today. So tell me, are you all pumped up? Yes, yes coach. Well, then, great. That's you. I'll see you tomorrow. You guys saw what I did out there? I almost dunked. Oh, yeah. That was so cool. I've been practicing myself, you know. Oh, yeah? Roses are red, violets are blue. There's nobody worse at basketball than you. You know, maybe. If you change your attitude, your game just might get better. Hey, you! Oh. Hey, coach! You've got some real talent. Why don't you try out for the team? I'm not trying out for the team because they never accept me. I'm nowhere near as good as them. A team? Is what that believes in each other. And they obviously don't believe in me. That's their problem. They don't think you can be as good as them. They all have their own egos and being the best team, they just don't want to get any better. You are the change. You can instill the values into every single one of them. From today onwards, you are part of the basketball team. A teacher is like a candle. They consume themselves to light the way for others. Here we witness a story set in the future where children are being taught by machines. What is the difference between a machine and a human? Good morning, Mr. Robot. What are we learning today? Please, what are this lifeless mechanic contraption teacher? I don't think you understand how I was taught. What's with the hatred? He's amazing. Him? <laughs> it's insulting that you're comparing this machine to a human. You can sit here and enjoy, but I am not going to. Hey champ! What are you doing here? Out of school so early? I want the teachers back. We had the best relationship and could talk to them about anything. I want them back, mom. Mom, I don't know why he's being so stubborn. When I was younger, 
we had teachers and all of them were humans they were really present there they taught us scolded us but they empathized with us we loved them despite the momentary spite there's no denying that mechanical teachers are effective at what they do and that is just spreading knowledge back in our day a good teacher had another quality and that was empathy imagine the world without teachers we would just be empty bodies with no souls and a mind with no color all teacher teaches teaches in their own unique way even mechanical teachers but we should be thankful for what we are being given no matter the circumstances given the current state of our world we have been put up on a golden pedestal we have been given a smooth transition into the virtual world by our chairman the genius behind the curtain get good grades get into a college get a job and i'll be happy but why do i have to wait until tomorrow to be happy when i have today after all i have the memories that stay the ones you make when you do the opposite of what you're told we're all running this never ending race that leads us nowhere to mark my way i must wander and create my own path and walk in it but how can i do that when log kya kahenge is everybody's biggest concern why does it feel like mine too people say that we are moving past the outdated mindset where prosperity and profession preside over personality but we're stuck we are shaping the lives of the leaders of tomorrow the businessmen the artists the politicians and the pop stars i hope that some of them can understand that there is so much more to life than what will people think but how can i tell them this if i can't get the door that separates us to open oh well the only thing that can cheer me up right now is some ice cream well you certainly look like you have a lot on your mind but i can relate there is nothing a little ice cream can't fix i was just thinking about ice cream we hardly realize how intertwined all our lives are and how alike we all think be it students teachers or parents we just want to live life and make the best out of it and the most important part of it all we all love ice cream at some point in our lives we have to let go of the protection that teachers provide the bull's eye for any teacher is to give a student the ability to stand tall show their face to the world and voice out their opinions we are taught to paint a picture behind our eyelids before we learn to open up and see we are taught to breathe under water before we learn how to swim for the entire team who has been listening to our teachers the entirety but this cloud has a silver lining listening to our teachers has led us to listen to our mind and eventually our heart thank you for teaching us more than math science and english thank you for helping us unravel the mysteries that kept us awake at night thank you for teaching us the values of hard work patience teamwork and perseverance and all the other values we will use throughout our lives above all thank you for telling us that we are defined by our actions and that our actions can change the world thank you gurus thank you gurus thank you thank gurus. you gurus. Thank we would like we would like to convey our gratitude to our chairman sir for giving us the clouds to build our castle and then leading us and guiding us as we learn to ground ourselves they say that well begun is half done sir you have taught us that though this is true it is important to emerge satisfied and safe through the other half dear sir on behalf of all the students studying in gear we would like to wish you a very happy birthday